could be a young boy has offered to end his rap career and give away whatever unreleased music he has if anyone is ready to meet his price. In today's video, what is going on with a rising rapper and be a young boy? Stay tuned to find out more. The popular rapper has teased the offer with a picture of Last C external hard drive, which he shared to his Instagram stories on November 23rd. He captioned the post, you can have it for 100 million and I'll never rap again on everything. The offer comes at the end of an extremely active year for NBA Youngboy, who has already released five projects in 2022, including his fourth solo studio album, The Last Slime Meadow. This year also saw the arrival of a collaborative project with Do Baby in March and a new mixtape with Quando Rondo. The onset of music puts NBA Youngboy on track to meet his purpose of releasing 10 projects this year, which would have positioned his output above mixtape legends like Lil Wayne, Currency, and Gucci Mane. He shared his idea to do so in October, just ahead of his Gangsta Grills mixtape, My Got a Family, which had appearances from Nicki Minaj and Yeet, in addition to the support of DJ Drama. Debuting at number 7 on the Billboard 200, the mixtape brought the Never Broke Again boss's grand total on the chart up to 25, while surpassing Jay-Z, who has 24. However, it should be noted that Billboard does not consider the Beyoncé and Jay-Z collab album Everything is Love as part of either artist's solo discography. In October, it was also reported that NBA Youngboy had amassed 5.4 billion streams in the US in 2022 so far, making him the second most streamed artist of any genre this year behind Drake. Even global superstar Bad Bunny has been trailed by a billion streams, while Youngboy has also spent most of the year setting the pace with a sixth god. In May, the two rappers were leading all artists with 3 billion and 2.8 billion total US streams and almost half a million more than Taylor Swift. The impacts of his output haven't all been positive, however, as the 23-year-old rapper recently claimed that he has run of material in a screenshotted YouTube comment circling online, one of NBA Youngboy's fans asked the 23-year-old to release a new track, to which he answered back and said it physically wasn't possible. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. While well, NBA Youngboy is not the only rapper who is planning to quit rapping, rapper designer also broke down on Instagram after the news of Takeoff's demise was confirmed. He also stated that he would be quitting rap after the demise of his friend. Designer did not hit his emotions. The rapper went on social media and expressed his thoughts in Instagram Live. The rapper is shaken up by his friend's death and even pointed out how different talented rappers have lost their lives in the past few years. At the same time, he even shared an Instagram story that said, I'm done rap. American rapper NBA Youngboy and rapper Bobby Shmurda also got engaged in a huge online beef. On November 27th, the 23-year-old star took to his Instagram stories to pass a dick at 28-year-old Bobby and call him Von Schmurda. Young Boy shared the IG story in response to the rapper uploading a video where he said he did not want to know what other people's friends had done. He also claimed he was not talking about Young Boy. In another story, NBA Young Boy called Bobby Schmurda a slave. After taking a dig at Bobby on his Instagram stories, NBA Young Boy shared a video where he addressed Bobby Schmurda and Rowdy Rebel. Shmurda appeared on Math Hoffa's podcast, My Expert Opinion, where he talked about how King Von's death could have been avoided. In a video posted on Instagram by the Lonely Child rapper, he called the other two rappers as irrelevant. Calling them irrelevant, he said they need people to like him to keep them going. NBA young boy then stated that he did not want any beef with Shmurda or Rowdy and asked him to stop the violence. However, in another set of videos, he went after Shmurda while saying that he does not know how to rap anymore and his career took a backflip when he went to jail at the height of his career. Bobby then began a live session on his Instagram handle to speak with young boy face to face. He stated that he's going to boom whack 100 when he sees him, and he also stated that he does not want to beef with a rapper. Bobby Schmurda also believes that the online back and forth with NBA young boy is a plan to get him back into jail. After his live session ended, young boy shared videos stating that the rapper was doped up during his video session. He also stated that he would pay Schmurda to help him stop the violence and mocked him for saying that he would boom whack 100. Bobby replied and claimed that his parole officer had been in touch with him and that he didn't want any problems this time. He claimed that the online beef with young boy is a plan put him behind bars again. He also called young boy as one of the biggest slaves in the music business. However, in a text screenshot, young boy revealed that he has blocked Shmurda mid-conversation. 
He also stated he does not want to be friends with him anymore. While young boy is definitely having some things going on, it will be interesting how his future will look like. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out!